Welcome to another training video from honestownbusiness.com. Best way to make money with a home business. SEO can make you rich. Absolutely true. And I'll show you the best way to make money with a home business using SEO. So the best way to make money with a home business is to have four elements in place. You have to have a website. You understand that. You know that you have to be able to have a place where people can go to join up, to sign up, to spend money. You know you need keywords because it's keywords that people type in in order to find the answer to their question. That's the way they find solutions. They use keywords. You need content because it's content that contains those keywords and the article around it that brings people into your website to solve their problem. And you need SEO search engine optimization and I'm going to show you the difference between getting your keywords right with SEO so that you can understand the best way to make money because people get this wrong so many times if your keywords are SEO'd correctly if your keywords are the right keywords then the content on your website will make the search engines listen to you a thousand times more than they listen to everybody else. Let me explain that and show you what I mean. So of course it's important to understand that this could be any keyword they're going in to look for. And I'm not going to pick the typical stupid keywords that everybody picks for you on the internet marketing and on the dog stuff. We're just going to pick something at random, something that I know absolutely nothing about. We're going to pick horse riding and so we're going to use those four elements and so we're going to go to the search engines which is where we are right now and we're going to type in a keyword which is what we have to do and we're going to use the word horse riding okay and then we're presented with websites okay and there's a reason that these people that you see here are at the top of the search engines for that keyword horse riding. That's the basic elements of what you need to do. Now, we're talking about picking the correct keyword. If we were to say we were looking for lessons on where to ride a horse or how to ride a horse or lessons in becoming a better horse rider, we wouldn't type in the word just horse riding. Why? A few reasons. First one, there are 13.300 million results. Okay, what that means is over 13 million competing web pages are going after this keyword horse riding. Okay, 13.3 million competing pages. If your website was trying to compete for those keywords, then your SEO in the search engines would be zero. You wouldn't have a hope in hell of ever, ever get into the top of the search engines on page one for that keyword. So those four elements are completely out the window. So let's take this keyword horse riding and show you that picking the right keywords to go on your website for your content is all about SEO. So we've come over to the Google AdWords tool which basically allows you to look at some keywords gives you a hundred keywords that you can look for and this is typically what people do when they want to find the right keyword to go in their content for their website to allow good SEO so that the search engines find them they find them those people get sent to your website simple so we've typed in the word horse riding and it's given us examples of keywords related to horse riding and most people would go in, grab themselves the top keywords, go into the search engines and try and compete because they go, ooh, ride a horse, 823,000 results. What that means is 823 searches were done in one month for the keyword horse ride. Someone says to themselves, my goodness me, I'm become a rich man. Trouble is, you go in and try and compete for the word horse ride and your SEO for the search engines would be rubbish. We have no chance whatsoever. So a quick tip straight away, 
is only show ideas closely related to my search term. Horse riding. We've got to extend this. And so we're only interested in things that actually say horse riding. Stables doesn't say that. Horse games have nothing to do with what we're doing. Okay. A question, just a posh name for it. That doesn't help us because we're hoping that people are going to type in a keyword that we want to go after to make money. Okay. So there's lots of reasons why we have to do this. Focus in. So we're just going to click that and we're going to search again and it's going to give us results that are slightly different, more targeted to what we're seeing. And all of a sudden we've lost your question and we're going to horse riding, back horse riding, horse riding places, horse riding stables, horse riding lessons, horse riding instructors, horse riding instructors, classes, class, courses, lessons, schools, riding. Okay, instantly we have taken that keyword which was huge just now and meant nothing to us and then all of a sudden an extra keyword has been added and so we're going for the long tail and all of a sudden we're targeting we're focusing in on people that are interested in specific keywords these are the questions you need to give answers to and so the first thing to do is make sure we're tight then we have to find the right keyword for you to make money and so there's a search that we should be doing in here we should not be going for these high ones because obviously everybody's going for these high ones and these are the people that are never making money these are the people whose websites will never receive any kind of traffic no people will come there why because they're competing with big people who've been at this for a long time and so what we have to do is tag it in much much tighter and so that would mean for us that we would be looking for a keyword that's more relative to our specific area, okay? Which is probably going to be somewhere between the 40,000 and probably, let's go a little bit lower than that. We could go as low as maybe 3,000. So all those keywords become available to us straight away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these keywords and show you the difference between success and not succeeding and how people make money on why other people just sit in their house crying, wasting their time, making no money. So once again, let's be certain what we're talking about here. This could be any keyword, okay? It's vital that you understand it. There's no secret going on with just this particular niche horse riding. I've never worked in the horse niche in my life. I've never been on a horse. I have no idea about horses, okay? This is just a typical way to show you how we do this. I'm going to pick a keyword. It doesn't matter which keyword. This is where research comes in. I can almost guarantee you that whichever keyword I choose for these down here, that I'm going to find a winning keyword. And so you have to focus in. You have to be tight. We're going to go for horse riding weekends. We could, of course, add another keyword to this, specific for geotargeting. But anyway, horse riding weekend has 14,800 searches per month. It's a lot of searches for one keyword. Why would we want to go for something huge when we can go for this? So we're going to click this, and it's going to take us to the results in Google for horse riding weekends. Now, we had 13.3 million results now all of a sudden we've taken those results to a little bit less well actually quite a lot less we've taken this to 348,000 results that means for those keywords in this search engine 348 competing web pages are going after this still sounds like a lot and I would agree it is quite a lot there's a few things we need to do when we're looking for competition we need to invert this what that means is we're going to tell the search engines that we want to know who is going after and who is competing for those keywords, horse, riding, weekends, exactly as you see it. Those three keywords in that order. We've told the search engines, eliminate everybody else except horse riding weekends in that order. There's no weekends behind the horse riding. There's no riding behind the horse, horse riding weekends. Please make sure you understand that. It's vital. All of a sudden, our results have now gone to about 29,600 competing pages. Okay? 13 million, 
all the way down to 29,600. That gives us a much better chance. And I can tell you, as someone who's been doing this for years, the 29,600 competing results is easy. That is not difficult. So that was an easy way to do it. Let me show you something else. If we keep those keywords as we see them, we know that written content, the content on our pages, are competing for this, okay? If we was to go over here and click on videos, we would now see, for those competing words, horse riding weekends, we have the massive amount of 12 competing pages for videos. Think about that. 13 million down to 12 results. And you know as well as I do that video is massive at the moment. Absolutely massive. And so we've just found a keyword that we can dominate. And I truly mean dominate. 12 results. 29,000 results. Three hundred forty-eight thousand results. Nine million results. Can you see what happens just by dropping one keyword? Let's go to videos for horse riding. Eleven thousand five hundred results. Can you see what we're doing here? How we're eliminating the competition? How we can take a keyword and make ourselves super successful? Okay, so let's wrap this up really, really quickly. I could spend all day getting keywords for you. I could spend all day showing you this, truly. I could show you how to make your keywords much longer. I've just taken that horse riding weekends, and I've chucked in horse riding holidays, and I've chucked in horse riding vacations. These two are the same, depending on which side of the world you come from. I've gone for closely related as usual. I've done a quick search, and I've got a 100 results. Okay, horse riding holidays, weekends, vacation, UK holidays, UK, 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 all different keywords, all bringing in results, okay? And so we could go even deeper onto this. And so if you wanted to supply horse riding holidays in a specific country, in a specific place within that country, you would dominate that niche. I guarantee it. You would become successful. And can you imagine how much commissions and profits you could make by doing horse riding weekends to people that do it for a business in your area. It's a phenomenal way to make money. From a book point of view, it's a phenomenal way to make money. This is one of those autopilot keywords, autopilot niches, where you can provide content for your website, keeping the search engines extremely happy. So we're back where we started. The best way to make money with a home business. Simple. You build a website. You go after keywords just the way I've showed you. You provide content for those keywords. We've showed you that the content for video is ridiculously low. It's embarrassing to go out there. Google should be shot for that kind of thing. Nevertheless, hey, hey, that's great for you. Okay, and then we just need to make sure that the SEO for the content, for the keywords on that website is spot on. That's all you have to do. And I promise you, you will dominate the search engines. Again, it doesn't have to be a horse. It could be a car. It could be a house. It could be a, a pair of shoes. It could be make your nose smaller. It could be make your body smaller. It could be anything you want it to be. Trust me, the best way to make money is to go after the keywords SEO style and make yourself some cash. It is very true to say to you that if you follow this system, you can quickly make money on the internet. It was really simple how we did that. It took us less than a few minutes. SEO can make you rich. It is a living fact. So if you would like to learn more, if you'd like to become a student of the SEO way, if you'd like to join me, John Adams and my community of people who are learning to do this, who are actually turning simple keywords into success, that success becomes money. Make your way over to honestownbusiness.com. Type in the URL into the address bar or quite simply type into the keywords in the search engines, honest home 
business and you will find this website. On this website, there is more free business gold than you could shake 10 sticks at. Trust me, you will love the training. If you thought that was a quick way of getting successful keywords, you ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you once again for watching the video. Please make sure you follow up on this. Please make sure you take action. Watch some more videos. Get some more training. Get over to John's treasure chest. And I'll see you very, very soon.